Many Christians tell us that Jesus is the physical begotten Son of God. But do we find that message in the Bible? They refer us to a verse and we'll look at it in the Bible itself. This is under Hebrews chapter 5 verse number 5. So also Christ did not glorify Himself to become high priest, but it was He who said to Him, meaning God, You are my Son, today I have begotten you. And they say this verse means Jesus is a physical begotten Son of God. But if that's the meaning they take from the Bible, if we go to Exodus chapter 4, verse number 22, we find there, Then you shall say to Pharaoh, God is referring to Jacob, you shall say to the Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my son, my firstborn. Israel referring to Jacob. So would this mean that Jacob is also the son of God, the brother of Jesus, and the firstborn, so the older brother? This seems a little confusing. And if we go through the Bible, we'll find this again in 2 Samuel 7, verse 13 and 14. We see the reference to Solomon. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. So now, is Solomon also the son of God? If we go through the Bible, the book of Palms, in the book Palms 2, verse number 7, regarding David, I will declare the decree the Lord has said to me, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Regarding David, so is David also the begotten son of God? How many kids does God have? If we look at Jeremiah, chapter number 31, we find, For I am the father to Israel, and to Ephraim, he is my firstborn. So Israel and Ephraim are both children of God as well. If we go to Luke, chapter number 3, verse number 38, we find the son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. So Adam is also the son of God. The confusion here is in the translation. In Hebrew, son is referred to as a term of endearment as father is referred to as a ter term of respect. Even today you'll find somebody go to a priest and say, Father, forgive me for I have sinned. They don't mean that they are physically related to them. It's a term of respect. You may find an older man tell a young man, Son, listen to me. But he doesn't mean that he's married to his mother. It's a term of endearment. And that's why you find it in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, referring to many of the prophets of God as terms of endearment, not physical relation. And this is the confusion people have brought by taking something that was in a different language and not understanding it or changing it for their own political cause. We encourage people to read the Bible and see that this is not a physical relationship. Rather, it's only a term of respect. And we encourage you to read the Qur'an, the final revelation of God, of our Creator, and know the truth.